Now let's talk about testing for a second, because seriously, if you're watching this, you deserve to understand how it works. So there are two main types of herpes blood tests. There's an IgM and an IgG. Now let's start with an IgM. An IgM can show antibodies or detect antibodies as early as one to two weeks after exposure, but it's not that reliable and it often gives false positive results. It also cannot tell the difference between HSV1 and HSV2, and it really shouldn't be used for diagnosis. Now, an IgG test is more accurate. It tells you whether you have HSV1 or HSV2, and it's the one that most experts recommend. But here's, here's the kicker, and this is what's key. IgG antibodies can take quite a bit of time to develop. So say if you thought you were exposed recently, you might not test positive right away. So what's the best time frame to test? Somewhere between eight to 12 weeks. I think waiting a little bit later is better, but that's what's recommended. And here's the thing, if you test too early, you might get a false negative, even if you're positive. So that's pretty serious. So you wanna make sure that you're testing at the right time. Here's the real challenge. The thing of it is, is that most people who have herpes, they just don't know it. And most doctors don't wanna test unless you actually have physical symptoms. And you know what, even if you get testing and the timing's wrong, guess what? Your results are gonna be very misleading. So this is why it's super important to know all the facts and to push for the care that you deserve.